Hello and welcome to Say Ah, I'm Tom Scher. In today's show, we'll be discussing Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, or ADHD. We'll tell you what symptoms to look for in your kids, how it's diagnosed, and what treatment options are available, and there are many options available. Also, do you know what's in your kid's sack lunch? There may be a lot more sugar and preservatives than you realize. We'll give you some helpful tips to make sure that your child has a tasty and healthy meal. And if you have trouble finding time in your day to exercise, and don't we all, you'll want to see this. Our resident fitness guru will give us some simple exercises you can do at home or in your office to help you lose those extra pounds. Well, Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, or ADHD, is one of the most common behavioral disorders in kids. But almost all children have a ton of energy, right? So how do you know if your child's wild ways are normal or something more? Let's take a look now at how to recognize the symptoms and what criteria your doctor may use for a diagnosis. And if you think your child may be suffering from ADHD, talk to your family doctor and try not to feel discouraged or hopeless because if diagnosed and treated properly, a child with ADHD can lead a happy, productive life. Well, there's no shortage of options to fill your child's sack lunch, but how much nutrition are they really getting in there? Our resident nutritionist is here to give us some tips on how to pack a healthy lunch for kids. It's Vanessa. She's back. Good to have you here again. Thanks so much. Vanessa, the question I always wonder is, how often does it happen uh, that kids are given a lunch that isn't healthy, though the parents or whoever is giving it to them may think it's fine? Is it, how big a problem is this? It's pretty common. You know, those, those sugars are, are hidden in things that you wouldn't realize it's in. So, again, you want to be really uh, cognizant of those nutrition labels sure you know how to read that. What are some of the biggest culprits, not, not the parents, but the actual ingredients in the lunches, the things which we tend to miss? High fructose corn syrup is in everything. So you want to make sure that when you're reading those labels, you look out for that. You know, make sure that you really keep that to a minimum and if possible, taking it out altogether. Now, now what is it with high fructose corn syrup? I mean, it, it seems to have not even existed 20 years ago. It was basically invented at some point. Yet we've been hearing about it for 10 years. Why is it still an issue? Why don't more people get it? It's hidden in things that you wouldn't imagine it's in. So, mm. you know, it's, it's something that, again, you want to make sure you read those nutrition labels mm -hmm. and, and make sure you read it for things that you wouldn't think to, that it's in because it does hide in, in a lot of things. Well, again, that's a key, as Vanessa was saying, the nutrition labels are very, very big in this because a lot of times an ingredient is buried down inside the text, if you will. It's not in the numbers, although we find sometimes it's up pretty high in some of the, the drinks that have a lot of high fructose. Vanessa, what now are the things we should put in the lunches? We've talked about what to get out of there. What are we putting in? You know, you want to make sure that you have some healthy substitutes and, and really not taking out any of the taste, but putting in some more nutritious value. So substituting uh, wheat bread for white bread mm -hmm. and um, think just little changes like that will, will really make a difference. Well, nothing you've said says no to taste, so the kids will still probably like it. They won't even know it's better for them. Exactly. Yeah, good point. Thank you, Vanessa, very much. It's good to have her back with us, and she'll be here again next week. And you can also find Vanessa's sack lunch tips online at www.livewellhd.com. Well, that's all for this episode of Say Ah. I'm Tom Scher. Thanks for being with us, and we'll see you next time.